So hey, um, I don't really know why I'm making this or honestly where I am because I just got to this house a, a week ago because it's one of the few that still has electricity and I just thought uh, I could lay low here for a while. But again, they they keep coming. Uh, they just reached the border ridge along the river, and I don't know. I don't know what to do next. Um. So yeah, I was hoping I could leave this here and hopefully someone who is still alive and not infected could... I don't know, honestly. I heard from the last person I saw, the last human I ever saw, about two months ago, he said that the last brigade of, 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 of people were... We're down in Mayaguez, down on the south side of the island. Uh, they were the last people who were still alive because um, it, it kind of it's kind of weird how the disease got here. If you want to call it a disease, it's kind of weird because it, it kind of got here through the western part because it's the part where, where the most people are, and uh, so the eastern part, which still has a lot of people, but it took a long time for the disease to cross the island. So that's believed to be the most. But honestly, I don't know. It's the last chance I have, right? So, anyway, uh, to pass the time while I wait to like head over to my address to see if it's true that they still got uh, people there. I've kind of been just reading, but I wouldn't call it reading because the people in this house apparently either burned all their books. I didn't read a lot, so this has been my prime reading material. And uh, as you can pretty much guess, it's been very, it hasn't been very, very, very good. <laughs> I'm not jovial about this. And, uh, oh, I remember, I, I was reading through this and my favorite word that I came across was clinophobia. And it's either the fear of falling asleep or the fear of bathing. Either which I have both. Um. So it's kind of been creeping me out a little, but uh, I don't know. I don't even know if anybody's going to be there to appreciate my newfound vernacular, but I also found something else. But I've been pretty reluctant to read it in a sense, because look, look what it's called. True Survivor's Tale. I've been re a little reluctant to call myself a survivor, or that this is even a survival story. If I can be honest, I think I'm just delaying the inevitable. I, it's, I can't run for this long. I can't do this. I can't keep on going and going. I have to stop somehow. I mean, I want to go down to the south side of the island and find the last people there, but I have no way of getting there. And I have to cross all the mountain, mountain places. and That's where all the zombies are because near the mountains, there's no electricity, and that's the first place that had no electricity and that had it cut off. Back a month ago, when the disease first started becoming widespread, and, and that's where the zombies like to be, where it's cold and dark. Whatever zombies. Remember when? Who are you? Whoever's watching this. Remember when we used to watch movies, and we used to wish I had my friend, my friend Raúl. He would always say, "Wouldn't it be cool if we were in a zombie apocalypse?" And this isn't exactly what he meant. This isn't exactly exactly what a zombie apocalypse is. It's, it's a lot more overrated. It's not. It's, I don't even want to talk about it. But uh, it's been pretty. <laughs> okay, I hit zombies. I don't even want to call them zombies. I hit the diseased because well, yeah, my friend Raul, he would always say it would be fun, you know, just go shooting everywhere. And aside from the fact that I don't have a gun, and I've never believed in owning a gun, the only way I've been able to uh, actually, you know, I never found many zombies because I, I was always good at hiding in the area where I'm at. They're pretty much moved to the mountains, and I'm pretty much near the coast. So what I was do, to, what I would just do is <laughs> grab this this uh, bamboo stick I had from when I was. Uh, I got this from a summer camp at uh, in the woods where they where they live now. I practiced whack him in the head a couple times, and either they run away because they're either alone or in pairs, 
or I just leave them in a house and lock them in. Because how can you kill, I mean, it's still a person, right? I don't know. It has to be a person, right? Uh, anyway, <laughs> I want to tell you something else. Um, I've also, wait, there's a... Why do I keep this? Why do I keep... Look. I still carry my cell phone around. Why would I still carry? This doesn't even have signal. It barely turns on anymore. Yeah. I have no one to call. I keep my wallet. All the money, the IDs. What does it mean? It means nothing. And, uh... I don't know. I just hope someday I find meaning to get back into all this. Um, I will be uh, on my way to my request as if you get this soon, I will be throwing these little, I will be uh, setting off, I'll have a lot of these sparks and I'm setting them off. Alright, anyway, um, my camera froze and I heard a huge mass of them coming up the hill. I don't think I've ever heard that many, but anyway, I turned off all the lights uh, outside and inside and I'm just laying down and I, I'll see if I can wait it out. Uh, whoever finds this, please stay alive.